Hi everyone, this is an update on uh, the continuation of testing uh, Floor's uh, twist drive uh, system. And uh, I haven't given an update for a little while because I was kind of uh, in a stuck area, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just show uh, what uh, I have done here. So I uh, wanted to test the shielding material. Uh, where I would be inserting this shielding in my uh, magnet rotor here and uh, these are the different shieldings that I came up with that's just a uh, steel pipe and it's got a little bit of tapered uh, ends here and that would go on uh, this piece here and go in and out and uh, shield so basically I could uh, have <coughs> the continuation of that rotation happen basically the reset cycle and then uh, the shielding would pull out and then you would have the torque from the magnet uh, twist drive effect and uh, this is another piece of shielding that I also had mounted on a uh, another piece of uh, wood which is uh, no longer on it anyways and uh, what I did as well is I've made uh, some very uh, higher precision uh, charts and these are charts that I uh, printed out and I get a much uh, higher precision. So I made this little marker here you can see and I get my degrees like very very accurately. So uh, to have a little lock position here and here you can see the lever uh, going in and out to the different degrees. And uh, then as well what I've done is I've added uh, this scale here at the back which I can have on this side or it flips over onto this side. So I can get exactly at 90 degrees uh, pull on this. So I have very, very precise and consistent result. So that's on the input uh, lever arm. And here on the output, I've done the same thing. So here you can see a very accurate chart and the travel would happen from here uh, where you get the torque out of the um, twist drive effect from about uh, 20 degrees uh, up to here about 160 degrees and uh, I've made this uh, uh, different color on the platter so this is a torque section here in the yellow and this is the uh, return section on the black and then I also have this uh, set up here where I have this other scale that is also always at 90 degrees and basically here I can just dial this is on like a friction so I can dial any degrees that I want and I can get exactly the same position of the scale and get, you know, how many grams of pull force it has. And uh, I've done all the tests and with the uh, reset, basically the continuation of the rest of the degrees so that it's reset for another cycle. And basically, once you do up all the math, uh, it all came out to uh, basically under unity. So, or pretty well to unity. So these are my uh, uh, results here. So this was like uh, engaging the device, how many grams uh, of pull force it would have. And this would be disengaging the, the device. And these were, were my totals here. And this is what we uh, would get uh, for the reset cycle, for it to go through the reset cycle. And this is basically the output so this would be the reset cycle. That would be with uh, this particular uh, sleeve inserted here for uh, neutralizing the magnetic field or shielding basically from the center magnet to the outer magnets. And uh, these are the results. So the shielding does work. So if you look, you know, we've got um, 60 um, grams here of pull force. And when the shielding is in for the reset cycle, it um, takes only uh, 20 grams here of pull force to get it through. So here you see the comparisons. So that's what the shielding does. So the highest point here we see is about, um, I guess, 195 and uh, basically 75 with the shielding in. But to uh, take the shielding uh, out, there's a lot of cost as well. So if you look at here, <laughs> we have like uh, 685 uh, grams of pull force, you know, to get that shielding out. So we have like, oh, there's our total layer here, 177 uh, average uh, grams of pull force. Uh, that's uh, both in and out. 
So actually here we have a minus uh, figure and here we have a positive figure and that is the difference of the two. And uh, this is the, you know, basically these two as well. Uh, anyways, when you get right down to the bottom line, I had a C, uh, minus uh, 8.75, so break even pretty well. So a COP of 0.95, that was with this uh, particular shielding. Then I went to a little more precise shielding, which was like just the small amount of metal that I actually need, which are, these are like just transformer, uh, toroid transformer laminations that uh, I just made exactly the more precise shielding needed. And uh, this is the results I got out of that. So, you know, same idea here. And if you look, <laughs> I had 109 uh, grams of uh, work out and we have 109 grams of input so this one actually was exactly unity and then I decided okay I'm going to uh, forget about the idea of these uh, two um, shieldings and I made another um, magnet uh, basically uh, piece here in the center so like that ring that you see on the uh, inside here of this uh, device. So there's another set of magnets here that I made. So which are like obviously the, this side you see is red. That would be the north and then the black here is the south. So that would slip between these outer uh, magnets and this inner magnet here. And uh, would cause the uh, neutralization as well. And again with that uh, wasn't uh, any uh, better basically so there's all the uh, data there on that and um, basically we were uh, I was down uh, minus uh, 23 or minus 24 grams uh, short of uh, unity uh, compared to uh, what I had to input in it and that's all thanks to having very very accurate charts here and very very accurate ability to measure everything so uh, I was kind of stuck with that and I didn't really know what more to do. Uh, I know that Floor has been uh, posting some other designs but um, I, I haven't really uh, seen uh, much until he has just recently posted his latest video and from that I was able to get another uh, idea. It's not exactly what Floor was showing but I got another idea out of that. So that will be the next video from this. So I just would decide I'll give an update where I was with this. Basically, I couldn't see uh, any uh, extra gain from uh, putting this uh, device back into reset mode, meaning it's ready for ne next cycle. And uh, but this next uh, idea that I, I was able to uh, utilize from a suggestion from uh, Floor is uh, quite interesting and uh, that will be the next video. Thanks, bye now.